We're going to be talking about representation in the different commissions. So the first thing are, what are the commissions? Now commissions are most likely going to be uh, quasi-court environments that are created by statute. Uh, some of the commissions we have are the Fair Work Commission, the QIRC, the Queensland Industrial Relations Commission, QCAT is also a commission or it's a tribunal, um, the Queensland Civil and Administrat Administrative Tribunal. Uh, we also have the Human Rights Commission of Queensland and there are several other commissions out there as well. So, do you have a matter running in the through the Commission at the moment? Now you may have filed an unfair dismissal application or a general protection application in the Fair Work Commission. They are probably the biggest ones that uh, employees file in the Fair Work Commission. Or you may be a government employee, a state um, or local government employee and you filed a application for reinstatement uh, at the QIRC, the Queensland Industrial Relations Commission or the the equivalent to your state and territory or you may have felt that you were discriminated against and you filed in the Human Rights Commission in your state and territory. Now the first thing that normally happens is the Commission will notify you that they received your application and they may have already given you a listing for the conciliation. Most of these commissions start with some sort of conciliation process first. The other side, um, your employer will receive your application and they'll be asked to file some sort of defence or response back. Now it is more than likely um, that you will receive that response before you have to attend conciliation and we would recommend if you haven't received a response back before conciliation that you absolutely ask the, the Commission and the other side if they can file something so you can have it uh, for that conciliation. Now, what are your representational options? Now, of course, you can represent yourself. You can also have a non-lawyer advocate represent you, or you can have lawyer represent you. Now, they're basically your three options. Unions can be lawyer representatives or non-lawyer representatives, depending on the union, depending on your matter. We can certainly help you in all of those uh, commissions and tribunals. We'll be able to assist you in providing you further advice about um, how to make your application better and we can do some amendments. We can talk you through the conciliation process and how to prepare for that and we can help represent you at those conciliations as well and if the conciliation is unsuccessful we can help you with those next steps and what to do and how to push, push it forward past there. Um, another question I get is, is it like court? Now that depends quite heavily on your experience of court. For instance, if you've had um, a traffic fine and you've had to turn up to uh, a court that deals with traffic issues, then that's going to look quite different to your experience at a commission. But if you've had an experience where you've had to perhaps recover some sort of debt, then it is more than likely that you've had a very similar experience to what uh, your current application looks like now. So when we, when we talk about conciliations, they are informal. Uh, most of them are done over the telephone and most of them are in shuttle-like um, environments where uh, you're on the telephone, the conciliator's on the telephone and your employer's on the telephone and the conciliator might hang up on the employer and just speak to you uh, directly. Um, and the same might happen to you. So you might be hung up on by the conciliator, you don't know what's been said from the other side and the conciliator is speaking to your employer and at some point the conciliator will get back to you and say, hey, this is some of the things that we've been talking about. Now the conciliator can't go back to the other side with, and talk about what's been said at the, in these private sessions without your approval. So that's not like court at all. But if you get to a position where you have to uh, deal with a jurisdictional threshold question um, like uh, was it a general redundancy or did the employer follow the Small Business Fair Dismissal Code and Fair Work Commission after you filed an unfair dismissal application, then that's going to look a lot more like court. You'll have a commissioner who uh, is asking questions, you'll have perhaps witnesses that will need to get examined and cross-examined and there'll be a, you know, some sort of 
uh, bench where the uh, commissioner will sit and it will most likely be one commissioner depending um, whether it's an appeal there might be more than one commissioner and then there'll be some sort of bar where you sit down in a table like environment facing the commissioner and then there might be uh, witnesses that sit on a different area where they take the stand and get sworn in. So that is very much like a court process. The rules of evidence might be slightly different than a court and the protocol might be slightly different to court, but your experience will more than likely be something similar to a court-like process. Now if you find yourself in a situation where you have filed in a commission and it's got a little bit far out of what your comfort zone is, Absolutely, give us a call. We can talk you through it. We can help you with those next steps. We can also help represent you and uh, help you amend or make that application better for the next processes moving forward. We can also, if you're getting um, to a point where you want to communicate with the other side and have some sort of agreement or settlement, we can do that in an informal way as well. So you don't need a conciliator to do that. But we can also help you with that conciliation process as well. Thanks for watching.